Hey everybody, Cordon here, and I'm going to be tiny and in the corner as we read these, uh, this new dev diary that just dropped today. And it is The Sands of Ulman, dev diary number two. The cat is out of the bag from here on in, you'll learn all there is to know about the DLC. Oh my god, the puns are in, stop, you're killing me. Alright, hello adventures, or hello again adventures, and welcome back to the second developer diary for our upcoming DLC, Sands of Ulman in. I hope I'm saying that right. The Desert of Womanin. In the Desert of Womanin, we can find many new enemies, more than 20. That is a lot. Among them, two new intelligent enemy races, the Herons and the Felines. Ooh, you can see them all. Look at that desert. That is cool to... I wonder if these are the obelisk or not. Probably not, since there's multiple of them. That'd be cool to have, like, the obelisk be a desert-themed obelisk. Oh, you can see pyramids back here. And, uh, kits. Oh! It's even showcasing some of their attacks because uh, Nezglek's passive. Looks like a barricade. A mace attack. And that looks like Sacred Ceremony. I can't really tell. I'm going to zoom in. Open up a new tab. Sacred Ceremony. Free Bless. Heal. That's going to be powerful. All enemies. And the new sun effect, whatever that does. And this guy is sharpening himself. He's probably going to throw a pan of knives everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Now let's back out of that. Get back to reading more news. The desert map is divided into three parts. In the northern part of the map, we can find the Hurons. They were once a predominant race in the desert long ago until they had to abandon the lands of the south. Now they can be found taking care of the pyramids in the north. Along the center of the map is a large canyon where the Phoenix beetles and scallop enders live. We showed them in the previous dev diary. And last in the southern areas, there's a large oasis and the Great Pyramid of Ulmanin. This is where the felines live. Speaking of the Great Pyramid, it is a subzone for the map, so you will be able to enter and explore the Great Pyramid. Oh, we're getting the subzone and regular zone. Oh, well, I guess that's a given that it's a full on DLC. I'm used to the regular updates. Uh, the Great Pyramid suddenly appeared one day in the sands of the desert. Nobody know, really knows its purpose. Eventually, the pyramid opened. That's when the omniscient Bastet, omniscient Bastet made herself known. The felines of Ulmanin worship Bastet as a goddess and make a special offering to obtain her blessing. Ooh, anything in this? A couple rest sites. There's a green node. I wonder if that's a pet trainer node. Oh, new character! New character! It's a panther lady. Huh. And old character. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no exclamation point by Charles. It looks like the ladders are in this zone, too. But new character there. There's only one, though. Where's the other one? Not seen him. Alright. Oh, two new heroes. This expansion DLC will introduce two new heroes with a special new mechanic, and that is these new heroes are multi-classes. Oh, that was my thing with the two heroes of, uh, like the potion heroes from Wargroove, where they get two classes and it's two heroes. Each hero has two classes, being able to craft and use cards both classes at the same time, and in addition, these new heroes will always get four cards in each combat resort, or different instead instead, normal two type from each cl their classes. The new heroes are Lyath, the Paladin, Paladin, oh my god, the puns, who is a healer warrior multi-class. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. And Navalia the Fallen, a warrior and mage shadow. Oh, multi -class. That's like a Shadow Knight then. Oh, warrior mage synergy would be awesome because of the blunt. Like, you can do shatter and then pummel. That'd be crazy. And then healer warrior. A lot of good defense. Like, there's a lot of overlapping defensive cards there. Lyath the Paladin. For the generations, the felines of Woman in, in order to maintain Bastet's blessing, have virtualistic custom of offering a young girl when her paladin dies. Lyath was chosen to be the next paladin was raised, created by Bastet. Bastet promised her one day that she'd be released from her duties and prophesied that she would find a group of adventurers who prove worthy of her. Lyath is a healer who's proficient in the way of warrior, and she especially realizes in a new aura, Zeal. How do we get to know what Zeal does? Nope. Oh, that final one. Different skins. Panther, Lion, and... <laughs> Crazy futuristic Halo warrior. Neat. Navalia. Ooh. There's the emo goth girl we were teased about. Oh, she's got fists. 
And <laughs> there's definitely the emo. Oh, okay, let's read about her. Nivalia, the first paladin of Bastet, broke her oath when she joined her people in the war against the Archons. But she returned from the war, Bastet crushed her and had her locked away forever. Believing she was wrongfully imprisoned, her hatred grew for centuries, corrupting her body and soul until one day her imprisonment ended and a group of adventurers helped her. Nivali is a warrior proficient in the way of the mage and she specializes in new curse scourge. The two new aura and curses. Oh, we are going to get to know about them. With this new DLC, we're adding two new status effects, zeal and scourge. Zeal is an aurora that greatly increases your resistances and gives a bonus to healing yourself with sanctify. Zeal also increases the amount of damage you deal if you have burn charges on yourself. Oh, that's neat. So Cornelius might be good for this. Interesting. Scourge is curse that increases damage to the target receives from dark explosions. It also damage, deals damage based on the number of chill charges on the target. Will spread the target's direct charges to enemies. That's insane! It does so much. Spreading dark, making dark do more damage in an explosion, and damage based on the number of chill charges. I wonder if that's like one to one or like 0.5. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's true the new heroes are the ones who have easier access to these new auras and curses. Other classes will have new cards to use, but we are money the foes you'll encounter. The woman will also be able to use these abilities. The zeal increasing damage if you have burn. That's gonna make Cornelius a lot more fun. Alright, best it's grace. Let's see. Scourge. Damage received from Dark Explosion 10% per chart. That's crazy. We're at 50% of the dark charges, also crazy. I wonder what cards have Scourge on them. If there's like any AoE Scourge that's gonna like just spread the dark charges over and over and just pop, 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 pop. Alright, this damage can be blocked. Well, that's good for defensive. That's a, oh, that's a very good uh, boon since it dispels this on all heroes. Zeal is all resistance is 7%. Per oh, that's so much survivability. Oh, you remove everything at the end. Damage done 1% per burn charge. This is going to be so cool on Cornelius. And healing from Sanctify 20% to recharge. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, this, this is a boon with uh, different upgrades on him. Oh, that's cool. With the introduction of these two Hina Heron, Scourge, and Zeal, the possibility is making themed adventure groups grow exponentially. Oh, hype, 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 hype. And much more, in addition to adding 20 new cards for heroes, we also made changes and introduced new mechanics such as damage based on speed to many of the existing cards. Oh, I bet that's for charge and hit and run. This is like some of the most complained about cards in the community, that's awesome. More than 30 new items have been added for you to collect and equip your parties with. We've seen some of those and went over those in the podcast, they look awesome. New features have been added to be able to spend supplies to rank up heroes that are already ranked 10 or higher. We have the town of oh that's really nice i'm not sure uh, oh that's amazing that's <laughs> lucky we'll be able to finally upgrade to sylvie and Grookly without having to play them and the quality of life changes with the random hero selection button yes test your might with a random group of heroes i no longer have to use my uh handy dandy pop up and that's all folks we're getting close to completing the dlc right now we're working on the final polish and we'll have everything wrapped up no need to confirm just yet as soon as we have a date set we'll let or DT set. Well, you know, no, no, not the spelling error. Oh, well, it's forgiven. For now, we hope you enjoy this look at what's to come. As always, if you have any comments, feedback, or want to hang out in the community, find folks you've been with, join the Discord. Definitely join the Discord. It's awesome. Very friendly people. Link in the description below. Uh, definitely rate that up. Oh, I need to be signed in the Steam, so I can't do that. Uh, anything else I wanted to go back and look at? Surge. No, 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 no. Can I'm just gonna look through these screenshots quick, see if I can't see anything new. So this is gonna give every monster resistances. And that at least looks like a two. That's gonna be 14% resistances on everything. That is gonna be super annoying to deal with, especially if it stacks with like reinforce. So if this guy reinforces, this guy does two zeal, that's gonna be 44% resistance is the physical and everything. But then we get to use that. Oh, that's, that's crazy. I wonder if these guys are using Scourge. Oh, that's awesome. I'm hype. Hope you guys are hyped as well. Remember to brush your teeth, do all that crazy good stuff. And this is hype. 
go have a good breakfast, lunch, dinner, dinner, all that. And have a good one, and I'm going to make myself bigger. If I forget for the next video. Wom. Oh, oh no, oh no. Should be doing this not on the video. Alright, goodbye, remember to join Discord and have fun.